Ever get away with paying our bills five months late, especially if we owed millions of dollars? Well, it's happening to some local businesses. Some say it's a case of the big guys squeezing the little guys. And wait till you see who's involved. Beth Parker has tonight's Fox 5 investigation. Now imagine if you worked seven days a week, met every deadline, and at the end of the job, there was no paycheck for you. Of course, you would not be happy. It might get to you even more if your bosses were among Washington's wealthiest people. A picture-perfect scene, regal enough to match its name, the Presidential. It's a newly opened golf course in Dulles. Elite, a place for Washington's business leaders to entertain clients and close deals. The land is owned by the Lerner family, the same learners who developed Tyson's Corner and own the Washington Nationals. One high-profile investor in the golf course, Redskin Hall of Famer Daryl Green. The owners of the presidential call it the ultimate, an oasis of greenery. But that's not the kind of green stuff on the minds of those who built the presidential. Their concern is money. It makes me very aggravated. Contractor Richard Messia hung drywall, painted, and did a little of everything on tight deadlines. He says he helped build the clubhouse, restaurant, and Jack Nicholas Academy. I need this done right now. You call me on the phone. Where are you? So I'm on the West Wing. Oh, I need you to get over in this building. Messia says he did all that was asked of him. I was driving down here six, seven days a week. Available information. At the office of Joe Andronico, it's a familiar story. And we were working 30, 40 people 24-7. The clubhouse they built is up and running, but both men say their businesses have not been paid for all the work they did. Messia says the presidential owes him $129,000. Andronico's company's waiting for $849,000. And turns out they have a lot of company. At least 15 businesses have filed liens in Loudoun County Court. We totaled up those liens. Contractors allege the presidential owes at least $3.4 million, much of it to small business owners like Richard Messia. I'm a husband and wife team, and I don't have the pockets like the bigger companies out there do. So everything I bought, I paid all my vendors, any of my employees all got paid 100 days ago, 120 days ago. Most of the businesses tell Fox 5 they expect it to be paid in April. Many have spent months hounding the presidential to pay up. We're working on the money. We have problems with the banks. We're still working on it. We should have some by the end of the week. But the weeks have come and gone. Oh, give me a couple more days. I'm working on you. They kept saying every couple of weeks, two weeks from now we'll get it. Two weeks from now we'll get it. In the meantime, Messia says he's eaten through his personal savings, struggled to pay his mortgage, and made his kids sacrifice. The beach, I ain't go to the beaches here. We cut, took that out. We've taken out everything on our personal level because I don't have the money because I'm supporting the golf course. What makes it even tougher for Richard and Joe to take is who's involved. The club is owned by 14 investors, including Daryl Green. Again, the land is part of the portfolio of Lerner Enterprises. Ted Lerner is number 165 on Forbes magazine's list of America's richest people. Very, very well-off people who aren't meeting their commitments. That's what really sort of sits wrong. The fact that it's a, it's a prestigious golf club, an exclusive, you know, hey, that's okay. They have the right to do that, and they have the right to pursue any business model that they want. It just, it sits poorly where they're squeezing the contractors, the very people who got them open. It's, to me, again, it's ethically reprehensible and irresponsible. And we contacted Eric Wells, who runs Presidential Golf Partners. He would not go on camera, but told Fox 5, quote, there are some contractors who are owed money. The funding continues to be worked on. We work on it each day. We are somewhat victims of the difficulties in the banking industry. We will get through this. Question is, will everybody else get through it? Richard Messia says he's working harder than ever, struggling to stay afloat while he waits for his money. We contacted Daryl Green Enterprises. No one called us back. We also reached out to Lerner Enterprises. No one returned our calls. We can tell you that the Lerner's lawyers have said in the past that they are simply the landowners. They say they lease to presidential golf partners and are therefore not responsible for the construction debt. And that was Beth Parker reporting. By the way, we also want to point out that no judge has ruled on the validity of the liens in Loudoun County Court. We will keep you posted.